Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Madden RQ. Sorry if my voice sounds weird or um, starts to short out a little bit. I am sick right now. I had a fever a couple days ago, but I'm on a lot of medicine. Uh, home from school. Uh, we didn't have school yesterday, but I came home from school on Monday early. Uh, laid in bed basically all day and uh, didn't really do anything. I won't be at school tomorrow either. I'm expected to be back on Friday. So I should be good by then. But I'm on a lot of medicine right now. And I feel better. So I felt like making a video. Because I got a mail day. I've been to my LCS. Which I actually need to get a card out. And basically that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do an LCS recap. Uh, I found some Jeter cards. Um, and my mail day from cards you know me 97. So... First, I'd like to show you an update. Um, I changed this big box into just sort of a random baseball card lot. Here's all the cards my grandfather gave me. Um, these are like 79 and 80 tops. They're not in great condition, but yeah. And then I just kind of cut open this little box right here that... I got I just found laying around and uh cut out some cardboard to use as the dividers for some of my cards. And then we got the foam dividers I bought, which are separating some of the sets I'm doing and more of that. So just wanted to show that real fast. I'm trying to use a makeshift tripod here, just putting it right between my laptop battery and my direct T V remote, so It'll have to do for now. I gotta find a tripod for an iPhone, I guess. But uh, right now, guys, I guess we're gonna do um, some Jeter cards I found laying around. Uh, first, we have a Derek Jeter, Randy Johnson team leaders from Fleer, 2007, probably. 2006, my bad. 2006. Then we have a opening day, 2007. Then we have a Fleer Yankees checklist from probably 05. Nope, 07. Okay, I'm not going to guess the years because I'm bad at it. Yankees checklist, which Jeter is on the front of. Then we have two Spectrum cards. I'm not sure if I showed these already, but... <clears throat> two different Spectrum cards of Jeter from 2008 Upper Deck Spectrum. Um... I don't know how many different variations there are of this card, but I guess I'm going to try to get all of them. We have the 2008 opening day Jeter. Right here. Then we have the Bombers double play duo from uh, this year's Heritage. Jeter and Cano. Then we have the Derek Jeter. Base from 2011 Heritage. 2011 Tops Jeter. And 2009 Gaudi Jeter that I found. Those are all great Jeter cards for the PC. My Jeter collection is growing really rapidly. Uh, now is to the LCS recap. I actually purchased a Richard Mendenhall base card for about two bucks. A season ticket from guessing it's 2008. Nope, 2010. 2010 season ticket Mendenhall. But then, this is a nice purchase. I didn't actually buy it from the LCS. I bought it from a worker at the LCS. He had it in the back. It was from his collection. A 1965 Whitey Ford. This card is in great con... Well, I wouldn't say great condition, but... It's got a couple dinged up corners. I'd say it's in excellent condition. Maybe excellent near mint. It's got a few... I'd say it's in excellent condition. Um, great card. Centered very nicely. And uh, just nice for the Yankees PC, and it's my third card from 1965, so that's great. <clears throat> um, next, we've got a trade with 
none other than Cards You Know Me 97, one of my great friends on YouTube, Noah. So, there's the little note he threw in. Thanks again for the trade slash purchase. Noah from Cards You Know Me uh, 97. And then his autograph, which I have about five of his autographs because we make deals all the time. Um, so here's what he sent me for the extras. He he really he said he found some Grandersons and he said he'd throw them in. So I got a Granderson 2008 tops. I have the opening day version, but I don't have the regular tops version. So this is great. I need this one. I didn't have this one either. I don't think I did anyway. 2010 Topps Heritage Granderson. This is a great card. Legendary Lineage Granderson and Ty Cobb, two of my favorite players ever. And then he sent two 2010 Topps Curtis Grandersons, which I actually have like two of already. So, but can never hurt. Then he threw in some Tigers base, which. I don't want the Tigers right now because they're playing my Yankees, but uh, whoever wins, Tigers or Yankees, I'll be happy, and uh, I'll root for them to win the World Series, so it's all good. Joaquin Benoit, Joaquin Benoit once again, and Jabba Chamberlain, and then these ones are from like 2001. This this is, I don't, I'm not familiar with 2005, so I didn't even know this was numbered, but it's uh, Carl Pavano. From 2005 tops, and it's numbered out of 2005. <clears throat> and then there's a Jose Valverde, which is out of 2010. I hate how they numbered cards from 2010. It's not the foil, it's like the black print, which nobody really likes. And then he threw in a, er, he, this is what I bought for four bucks. I bought a Daniel McCutcheon auto. So, that's nice. Um, seven minute video today, guys. Uh, pretty nice video, I'd say. Uh, LCS recap mail days and random finds around the house. So, my birthday's coming up in... What's today? The 5th? Let's check my phone. I don't, oh, wait. My phone's the camera, so I can't. Uh, duh. I think today's the 5th, so my birthday is in... 13 days guys I don't expect you guys to send me anything I don't want you guys to send me anything just thought I'd let you know because I might have some birthday money coming from my family and my relatives or some gifts that I can show off maybe a Yankees jersey or something so just wanted to give you the heads up and uh, I'm Man RQ. thanks for watching my videos as always and uh, I'll see you guys later peace <coughs>